Monday, September 17th meeting of the Montpelier Design Review Committee. I will let members and staff introduce themselves. Hannah Smith. Liz Pritchett. Meredith Crandall, staff. Stephen Edward. Eric Gilbertson. Seth Mitchell. For anybody who has not been here before, we are advisory to the Development Review Board. We will review each of the applications and we look forward. Uh, unless anybody has anything else to offer, do I hear a motion to approve the agenda we have? Second. Second. All in favor of the agenda, raise your hand. The agenda is approved. First application on the agenda is for 47 Court Street. Yana Walder for Capital City Partners. Yeah, for me. Yeah. Yeah, but it's, it's on the application. Okay. So describe your wall. Um, so there's some concrete jersey barriers um, in the back of the parking lot that we'd like to replace with a decorative uh, stone retaining wall. It's not stone, it's like the big blocks. Concrete yes. 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 Yeah. Engineered concrete. Yeah. With a, sorry, with a yep. Have a picture. Yep. Yes. And this is the the existing <coughs> barrier. Okay. And then. Uh, decimal point between two and five, and I thought, whoa, twenty-five feet tall. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, this okay. level one. And, um, and the neighbors have, have it on their property, so it'll be nice and cohesive. Same. No, it looks much nicer, there's no question. Mm -hmm. Any comments, questions, suggestions? You have a construction yep. question. Sorry, I'm, sheet I'm, I'm off my game. No, it's okay. Um, set them down. Yeah, just set them down. There'll be some drainage behind it done properly, so the people who are installing the retaining wall are taking care of that. Usually they put crushed stall behind it with some drainage yeah. mm -hmm. and set the stalls and they'll stay there for a long time. There's a criteria sheet, I'll just read right through this for the project. Preservation or reconstruction of the appropriate historic style of the proposed projects in the historic district also historic structure acceptable. Harmony of exterior design acceptable. Compatibility of proposed exterior materials within the purpose of the district acceptable. Compatibility of proposed landscaping. I will say that this is acceptable as a part of landscaping. Prevention of the use of incompatible designs, buildings, color schemes, or exterior materials acceptable. Location and appearance of all utilities not applied for. Recognition of and respect for view quarters and significant vistas, including, including gateway views of the city and state house, uh, acceptable. All in favor of the application as proposed, raise your hand. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. And has anyone had a chance to take a look at the minutes from September the 4th? It's fine to me, I believe. Okay. Do I hear a motion to approve those minutes? Yeah, absolutely. Second. Second. All in favor of the minutes from the 4th? Minutes are approved. And there is a 
placed on the agenda an informal review of an art installation on Delaware Fine Arts. Were you here for that? I am. Well, good. And we do have a recommendation form. It will be just strictly recommendations, and you'll be able to keep it. Okay? Okay. Hi, um, I'm Katie Gustafson. I work up at the college, and um, I don't know if it's helpful if I give a little bit of background in terms of sure. why. Um, so several months ago, maybe even six months ago now, several of our programs got excited about the For Freedoms movement that is sort of a nationwide movement where artists are trying to do all kinds of different um, events prior to midterm elections and they're trying to do it with um, sort of nonpartisan so not about candidates specifically but just sort of raising ideas that um, they want to see people thinking about in a broader way um, so uh, our graphic design program and visual art program came to senior staff at the college and um, we started talking about different things we might be able to do. In a couple of weeks, we're going to be doing a sign-making event um, in correspondence with this, um, but that's pretty much all internal. But this was sort of an external um, piece of what was going on, and I felt like it was important to keep the city in the loop, um, tell people a little bit about what it is we were up to so that um, if people had questions, um, there'd be an opportunity to do that because it is a small town and um, I think often as people who either live in the community, uh, you all may be turned to and ask what's going on um, and I was hoping to just sort of get in front of you so you would have a face with a name that you could point people to and also ask any questions that you might have. Line? On the green. On the green. Yeah. So, um, as you come up East State Street, uh -huh. sort of um, right at the corner of East State Street and West Street, and until I think they actually okay. um, come and and start putting it down, they won't know exactly the exact location. Right. So it's this whole image. It is uh -huh. that image. And our plan large. is to 12 put by twelve by eight. Sorry, <laughs> is to put a little bit of information. Um, and it may very well just be this two pages on the back side so that as people are um, in the area, uh, we wouldn't put it on the front side of the sign, but on the back side. Um, also talking about doing sort of a little scan thing, perhaps that people could put their phone up to and get even more information oh, about what it's all about. So I did try and give a general idea yep. of where it's That's it exactly go. right, right yes. That. Yep. Mm -hmm. Are there any examples of what is going to be displayed in temporary art? That's it. Just that, that's it right there? Yep. Okay, I wasn't sure if that was all sure. or if yep. there was any additional. Nope, that's it. So is this a super graphic or is it a painting? Um, that's a great question. I'm guessing that it might be that. Super graphic on flat. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> uh, less than that, a little over a month. And is it, how is it in relation to the, to the grade? Uh, there's, I would say, no, essentially no grade right there. Okay, have any of the artists worked with the Native American Affairs Commission? Um, I shouldn't speak for exactly who he's worked with, but he, he does. He's very connected, and in fact, I know there was a call today um, just to see if they might like to either come to the sign-making event um, that's happening uh, up at the college in one of our classrooms at the end of September, um, and or even come when this gets installed um, as part of that, and I don't know where that that conversation went today. I wasn't actually at that meeting. Okay. I've still got my Mackey driver's license while we're seeing Francis Gamby driver's license. <laughs> <laughs> I <think it's> still <laughs> No Native American art is going to be incorporated at all. Not as part of this temporary installation. 
there could be as part of the sign making event on the 30th. No, it's you'll just I think so I don't know if it's plywood or if it's like a canvas material so it's just whatever it's on and then some two by fours that hold it in place. Absolutely, and yep, yep, kid proof, and also we know that things happen, so we don't plan to police it, and you know, what will happen will happen. That should be okay. Yes. The, I'll read down through the criteria, and again, this is just something that you can go, go down through, and then we can do this to you. As you said, there's no official uh, application required. Preservation or reconstruction of the appropriate historic style of the proposed projects in the historic district involves a historic structure. Uh, it's really not a historic style, I'm just saying not applicable here. Yeah. Yeah. Harmony of exterior design with level properties in the district. Again, temporary art is acceptable. Compatibility of proposed exterior materials with level properties in the district acceptable. Compatibility of proposed landscaping and applied for as part of this application. Prevention of the use of incompatible designs, buildings, color schemes, or exterior materials. Acceptable. Location and appearance of all utilities. No lighting for the sign. Right? No. Uh, not at this point. I know at one point somebody did mention maybe some of those solar, just little round things, but mm -hmm. certainly okay. nothing permanent. So, not applicable, and I got a little solar light like that temporary installation. You just plug those on the ground, and you don't need to do anything. Yeah. Recognition of and respect for view quarters and significant vistas, including gateway views of the city and state house. Acceptable. So, all who agree with it, even though it's not an official vote, all who agree with the temporary art, go for it. Go yeah. for it. Raise your hand. <laughs> Is the color that you have as part of your uh, college colors? I um, I don't I wouldn't looks think a little, so. Looks a little more yellow, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I was just kind of curious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You might have just give that to her. Do you want to keep the copy? I don't. No, I don't need a copy. Not official. Not official. <laughs> Meredith, I want to thank you. I hadn't realized it was you. Oh. <laughs> so it's nice to put a face with a name. And thank you. Really appreciate your help and thank you all for your time tonight and. Um, I hope to see you again. Welcome. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Take care. Bye-bye. Yeah. Anybody have anything else to add? Mm -hmm. I think a couple of things. Uh, the uh, city meeting, city council meeting, on Wednesday night, 6.30, they're going to talk. The garage is the only thing they're going to talk about. And it's coming here October 1st, right? Yep. Yeah, it's the, the new 2018 regulations have to apply. So you guys won't have new regulations because yours won't have been dealt with yet. But it's, and, and it comes here October 21st, assuming that they get a full application package to us on the this Friday. Because all we have so far is the sketch plan for the subdivision application. So we have to get the actual full site plan application for it to come here on the 1st. But the other thing is that I think everybody Did 
get that set? No, then maybe you aren't getting emails from me. You might want to see if I'm on your block list or something. Because I, I double checked and I pulled the email address from Audra's email that she had last sent to you. Okay. I am not able to attend on Friday. Try to go Saturday. I'll be there on Friday. Real nice to people that give $50,000 for projects. So, <laughs> yes, that helps. Um, honestly, I don't want to say right now because I can't remember the exact reason it switched hands. Um, part of it may have been the larger size needed, but I, I can't, I, I don't want to misspeak on that one. Based on the TIF tax financing, where there has to be a public benefit in that mm. door, it can't happen. I think that's right. I mean, that's part of it. There might be some other reasons, too. So the city will now run all the way to that line to the city? Yeah. Including most of the land underneath. They're going to then lease it to the hotel? They're going to lease a certain number of spots to the hotel. <laughs> that's, still, that's still part of the design. <laughs> They're not. They're they're somebody, trying not to tweak the design too much. It's already gone through the whole process. Somebody said something really. In, in, in one of the hearings said something yeah. really kind of redressing on the concrete block or yeah, something. With, I saw that with green lipstick. I yes, think. Yeah. green <laughs> lipstick. <laughs> it's only so much you can do to a parking garage. Well, and, and that's the other thing. Well, I know that if you spend a little money, my yeah. concern is it's just getting bigger. Yeah. Big blocks. Is that what we need? Um, my understanding is that some of the spaces will be metered, and some of them will be leased out with passes to blocks of, of people. I, I can't remember the exact breakdown. Um, I'm not sure they made all those decisions either. Um, I have Wednesday night. Yeah, <laughs> or, or or stay tonight at seven. The the first informal presentation to the DRB is tonight. Um, after a couple of shorter hearings, it's going to be a while. It's probably going to be eight o'clock before they start on it tonight. But you could come back. It's good. Way too close to bed. <laughs> Tell me about it. I'll get home and all three, my husband and both boys, are going to be sound asleep. Okay, sounds good. Unless anybody has anything else to adhere a motion to adjourn. Yay. I'll second. Second. All in favor of adjournment, raise your hand. Meeting is adjourned.